It has been a full year since I last reacted to a Darman video. Please do subscribe. I am only six subscribers away from my goal, which is 300 subscribers. I want to get to that goal before the official start of summer, which is a whole month away. If I get 300 subscribers before or after the deadline, I'll chop down every single ice tree in Lumber Tiger 2 in one video. And the chances are I'm probably going to reach my goal, like, probably for the next week. That's my guess. Like, the next, within the next week after May 15th. So apparently, Darman has changed their content. At the end of the year, 2021, basically last year, Darman stopped uploading, alright? And then came back in, like, mid-February or February or early February, I forget, alright? And Darman came back with a lot better content and, like, made this whole video of where they're explaining, like, they're gonna, like, make their videos differently, all right? And the videos have majorly improved, all right? Not saying there's anything wrong with the videos back then. The videos back then were actually pretty good, but these videos are way better. I mean, it takes the whole, like, feel of classic Darman videos, and it completely changes it. It doesn't make it worse. It actually makes it quite better. Unfortunately, the classic Darman video style it just, is just not present in the new videos anymore, but that's fine to me. The new videos are actually pretty good, too. I mean, it, it's like half the time, not half the time, but like, I guess you could say a quarter of the time, whenever I'm watching a Darman video, I'm like, wait, that's Darman? Because I'm used to the way that Darman did his videos like a year ago. And like most, like pretty much all of 2021. Instead of um how he does his videos now, like... Sometimes you don't even know you're watching Darman. It's like you're watching, like, one of those little, um, small films that are made on YouTube that are, have, like, a lot of work and effort into it or something. That, like, you know those, like, channels that post, like, two or, like, not, I don't know how many, but, like, that post, like, a few, like, um, videos of where it's, like, a, it's kind of like a movie is what I'm saying. Or, like, a little show, you know? Today I'm going to be reacting to Teacher Rejects Disabled artist what happens next what happens will shock you where's next i guess they took next out and then darman this this video has 6.7 million views as of may 15 2022 and this is uploaded april 7th 2022 right no april 12th by the way i actually watch darman's content whether you guys like it or not i actually like watching darman right all right, I I don't care what you think. All right, I like watching Darman. I'll say it. I'll say it right now. All right, I actually this is like the first video that I thought like I watched all the newer videos that were uploaded between April twelfth and May fifteenth. So I had to like go down and find a video I didn't watch yet, and I found one. So yeah, um, you know you know the way how like uh, films work. Like you can't watch them twice. Because you know what's already going to happen. You know, that's just the way it is. Unless you absolutely enjoy it. Like, if you enjoy it an incredible amount. But, yeah. Um, let's watch this video, alright? Is that a vase? Or a deformed fish? Again. Yes, Miss Ernie. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how your still life is going, Donnie. Well, it's it's a little rough, but uh, I can fix it. I can fix it. It's almost been three weeks and not an inch of progress from you. These lines are still too shaky and these curves are way too lumpy. Well, uh, with, with my Parkinson's, uh, I can't help certain things. So I decided I would make something more Interpretive? Is that the right word? I'm new at this. Interpretive? Yeah. This is an art technique class. There's absolutely no room for postmodern abstract expressionism. Well, maybe it'll be better when I'm finished. Oh, spoken like a true novice. Attention, everyone. I'd like to show you an example of what not to do. This sketch so. looks more like still dead rather than still life. That's, that's, a, that's a little rude. What in the world? What on earth is she doing? That's a little rude. That's rude. That is rude. Um, 
Oh my word! Just let him do. Let him do his sketch. Goodness gracious! That's what I think on that. What on earth? You have to. You have to show it around to the entire, like to the entire group, and embarrass him like in middle school or high school. A school, elementary school maybe. Actually, I don't think kids get embarrassed in elementary school like they do in middle school and high school like rumors spreading and stuff like that i don't know if you expect to continue in this class you must master my methods or else you will fail try again this time without the shaky lines i still have a parkinson's well then maybe you shouldn't be drawing now should you He's trying his best. You don't have to be so mean. I'm just prepping him for the real world, Frida. People don't buy drawings from artists they feel sorry for. They buy them from people they feel inspired by. Now, if you're looking for a teacher who's going to sugarcoat things, I'm sure there's a lot of other art classes out there. But if you expect to stay in my class, I require perfection from all of my students. No exceptions. You know, it... it you know... I don't know the saying here, but, like, the way art is is that, like, not all art has to be, like, a certain way for it to be nice, you know? Like, if, like, I'm sure, like, if that man um, made art, it could be good, all right? It, like, even though, it, like, okay. I What I'm saying is, yeah, I'm sure that, yeah, that man can probably make good art. You don't have to make things this aren't the same way by the way this is 21 minutes starman videos are like longer now and they even have two-parter episodes too i actually i actually really liked watching the two-parter episodes too all right let's continue don't let her get to you i think you're doing fine i actually really like your drawing me too thanks you know i've always wanted to be an artist when i was growing up i never made time for it but now I have time, I develop Parkinson's, so isn't life ironic? Wow, your drawing is so much better than mine. You belong in a professional art class, oh, not, good. not here with us. I appreciate it. You know, it's funny, I actually dreamed of going to the Rhode Island School of Design when I was growing up, and now I've finally gotten in, but I can't pay the expensive tuition, so you're right. Life really is ironic. I know, you're just gonna do fine. <laughs> Silence! Art requires total concentration. Sheesh. Can't do anything around here with Cruella DeVille. What on earth? Yeah, real quick, what on listen earth? to the- That was an ad for like, FL Studio, I think. Hmm. Alright. Even though she's talented, I've read some of Miss Renee's online reviews. People had some things to say. I wouldn't take her comments too personally. Thanks, but you know, I can't help but think her criticism of my artwork is just spot on. Yeah. Can I see one of your sketches? I don't know. You know, it's kind of embarrassing. I, they're not that good. Donnie, art does not have to be perfect. It just has to come from the heart. All right. This is beautiful. Who is she? God, is someone who means pretty, a lot to me. Pretty good piece. You should have this that framed. Is like, well drawn is what I'm trying to say. Not just because it's special, but also because then you can see how much you've improved. I don't know, you know. I've never really shown anyone my artwork before. You should show a few people. I'd be embarrassed hanging that up. You gotta stop second guessing yourself. Come on. Exactly. How can I help you too? My friend Donnie would like to have this framed. Oh. This is really nice. I think we have something on sale that'll work with this. Should I go get it? You honestly think it's good? Of course. See, so look at the eyes. Hmm. So powerful. You might be right, Frida. I might have a knack for this after all. I told you. Is it done yet? Yeah, I will go get it for you. Oh, well, hello there. Hi. Hi, Miss Renee. We were just talking about you. 
What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my latest masterpiece. I'll be selling my art at La Galerie Nouveau. That's French for... The New Art Gallery. I heard of that place. It's, uh, it's where the rich go to buy art, isn't it? Well, maybe you do know one thing about art after all. Here you go. Uh, thanks, but I didn't ask for the extra frame. Oh, no, that's for him. Does this work? Yeah, that's fine. That's good. You're going to put something in a frame? Don't tell me you actually sold something. No, it's for his own home. <laughs> well, I was going to say. <laughs> so what does this rinky-dink little frame have the misfortune of putting on display? <laughs> um, I was, uh, pretty bad there. What is this supposed to be? It looks like a jellyfish. No, it's a woman's face. It's beautiful. Hmm. Huh. Well, to tell you the truth, I liked it better when I thought it was a jellyfish. <laughs> no offense, Donnie, but I wouldn't be wasting your disability money putting that in a frame. How could you say that? I told you I don't sugarcoat things. Now this, this is a work of art. This is going to make me a pretty penny tonight at the gallery. <laughs> Are we done here? Yeah, it's already paid for. Have a nice day. I think um, the man sketch will, will make her a pretty penny if she ever got that. I mean, the way she's acting, she probably would never want to sell that man sketch, unfortunately. Oh, where am I even going with this? Look, Donnie, I'm all about believing. I gotta make sure I'm recording. Yes, I was. All right, good. Believing in your dreams, but my short son wants to be a basketball player, and I had to tell him, well, you get the idea. Take care. What on yeah. earth are you talking about? Telling a, a, a short person that they can't be a basketball basketball player? Just because someone's short doesn't mean that they can't jump and make slam dunks or, or throw a ball up high. What on earth? What on earth is going through that lady's brain in the Starman episode? Well, technically, not, not the actor, but like the character. All right, I'm talking about the character here. Ugh, I can't stand her. Maybe she's right. I could not. You know, I don't need that frame. Just forget about not it. Not a problem. No, no, Donnie, you can't let her discourage you. Yeah, you know, I do have you. a limited income, and I, I really shouldn't be spending it on framing a worthless drawing. It's so. not worthless. It's not. I'll pay for it. No, listen, listen, I can't. No, I don't want you to do that. I mean, if anything, you should be spending your money on Rhode Island tuition. If I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't be doing it. Consider it an investment in your future. You know, you really didn't have to do that, but thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I don't have any plans. We should go to the gallery. We meet people, no. get inspiration. I, you know, I Donnie, we're artists. We should go. Probably should, yeah. All right, fine. But only because you bought me this frame. Excellent. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. I think that other lady's here too. This is amazing. Oh, I hope I get to sell one of my paintings here someday. I hope you do too. I know I never will. Hey, don't say that. You know, some people say that marketing yourself as an artist is just as important as the art itself. Try to have a little confidence. What are you two doing here? Uh, um, uh, uh, we're looking for some inspiration. Go find it somewhere else. I'm trying to sell a painting and I don't need any distractions. There's a big time art There's dealer distractions? here. Distractions? How are they gonna distract her? Or, or other people? What? They're... They're just looking around. Looking around. Unless they're not allowed to. I don't know. There he is. <laughs> what in on on earth? <laughs> Wait, one more time, one more time. Oh. Distractions. There's a big time art dealer here. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> what on? What in the world was that? <laughs> You two don't belong here. Please leave before you embarrass me. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Renee. It's Renee, but you can call me anything you like, you scoundrel, you. <laughs> oh, my, have you been working out? Uh, 
think she's flirting with him already. What in, what what on earth? It's just so she could sell her paint and what in, what in the world? She is full with energy. What on earth? Uh, not exactly. So, are you still teaching at the adult school? The adult institute? Yes. <laughs> Should we go? She's acting like she's flirting with him. What? She doesn't own the place. Let's stay. Exactly. You should stay. She doesn't. You say so. I wonder what they're talking about. I think that's called schmoozing. Ugh. What? Oh my god. What? What does that even mean? Is it you're trying to act like extraordinarily nice just so that um the the buyer can buy the painting off you? Is that what that really means? Gosh, is that shrimp? Mmm, Johnny, they're so good. Come try one. Uh, Here, you need a hand? I got it. There. You gotta try the sauce. Whoops. Oh. Here, let me. Uh, I can handle it. I can handle it. I promise. So, Henry, I was hoping that I could hang this in your gallery. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My dress <gasps> and my painting. <laughs> How did this happen? Accident. Oh my gosh. It looks like that guy's laughing in the background. Just, just standing there laughing. That, that, that's bad that that happened to her pain. All right. Um, but mistakes do happen. Although I think they might have to pay for it. Is this like some form of karma because of how strange that lady was acting? So is that why Darman did that? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it was an accident. This gentleman actually bumped into me. Maybe this is uh, a way that uh, maybe like after this she'll kick him out of out of her class, and like a further consequence will happen, or he'll have to pay for it. You know, like something else to like worsen, like to advance the plot, worsen the situation for the guy. Which would be advanced in the plot. I don't know. We'll have to see. Ew! I, I didn't mean it. Just because you can't make art doesn't mean you have to ruin mine! You know it's not his fault. He has a disease. You know what? That's it. You're expelled from my class. What? I knew you were going to embarrass me. Now I'm not going to ask again. Please leave. Or do I have to get the owner? All right, I'll leave. Frida had nothing to do with this. Sorry, everybody. Donnie, wait! She made him upset. He seems like a really nice elder. She she made him upset. She made him upset, and he seems like a really nice elder. This this I, oh my gosh, this almost makes me not want to watch this video anymore. It's just so heartbreaking. It just gets me so po'd. Just one minute, one second. Frida, hold on. You did not have to treat him that way. Oh, yes, I did. He doesn't belong in this world. And a word of advice, sweetie. Be careful who you hang out with. It looks bad on you, too. Oh, save it, Gertrude. You didn't just lose Donnie, you lost me, too. Oh, great. Go on, get out of here, you little art school reject. Yeah, that's right. I heard all about you. Go have a pity party with your old cripple friend. You two deserve each other. Mean insults, mean insults. What is wrong with that lady? I love another ad. Were they with you? Stay away, oh, no, ads. just some former students of mine. Let's see, where were we? Yep, she kicked them out of her class. Oh, yes, you were telling me about what gym you work out at. <laughs> I don't. I just wear tighter suits. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I need to make sure I'm recording, all right? Yeah, I'm recording. I'm recording. Can I leave? You should have stayed. You should have just stayed. <sighs> Ms. Renee was right. Oh. I'm just an embarrassment. Donnie, that is not true. You have talent. I've seen it. Thank you, Frida, but admit it. You're just, you're just being nice to me. <laughs> I am, I am not just being nice to you.
If you keep working on this, you could really be somebody someday. And maybe you could even sell your art in one of these galleries. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. An artist. With Parkinson's. What was I thinking? Could be possible. An artist with Parkinson's. I think. You know, there are so many artists with disabilities that make it, right? There are? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Maurice Kajewski. He's a 23-year-old Polish artist. He was born without arms. He paints with his mouth. Oh, wow. I never heard of him. Okay, uh, Paul Smith. He was born with cerebral palsy. He uses one finger and a typewriter to draw things. One finger? Mm. You're joking. No, I'm serious. There are so many artists with disabilities who are famous, who have figured out how to do what they love, and they sell paintings. How do you know so much about this? My dad. He was disabled from the waist up. And he learned how to paint with his feet. Hmm. He would put a paintbrush wow. between his toes. And whenever anyone would question why a disabled man was painting, he'd say, I don't have a disability. I just have a different ability. Oh, what an amazing person. Yeah. I'd love to meet him someday. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to meet you too. Unfortunately, he passed away some time ago. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't know. I... It's okay. He lived life very fulfilled. He would have loved to have been an inspiration to you too. Thank you, Frida. I'm never, never gonna forget this. You know that woman you asked about, the one I got the frame for? The one that means everything to me? Yeah. Who is she? It's my wife. She always encouraged me to draw. Even after I got Parkinson's. That's why, that's why I'm dedicating my first painting to her. Yeah. She sounds like a really amazing woman. She was. But I never took her advice and started painting until, until after she passed away. Life's ironic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I actually can understand how life is ironic because recently I have been going through a lot of ironic moments, like more than ever. I don't know what on earth's going on, but so much ironic things have been happening to me lately too. But I did not mean to chuckle there, my bad. It really is. You know, now that I know that story, there is absolutely no way you can give up. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. If not for proving Ms. Renee wrong, Ugh. I should do it just to, to prove my wife and your dad right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Let's call Ms. Renee Gertrude. <laughs> she hates to be called by her first name, so I think it's all we should use from now on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to leave her a negative review. With Frida's help, Donnie is once again inspired to keep going after his dream again. He keeps practicing his art. Oh, I forgot. I put the video a bit too loud. Although the video is going to like, yeah, I'm just going to put it slightly quieter because if I put it too quieter, it'll like sound strange because you're used to the louder. So my bad. And whenever things get difficult and he feels like giving up, stop gaming. What are these ads? Sorry, not what are these ads? Why are these ads? He remembers why he started and keeps on going. As time goes on, his skills really start to develop. You know, I wish I did have an artist. I wish I had an artistic skill. I've always wished I had an artistic skill. But I can't draw. I absolutely cannot. I have no skill. I mean, maybe if I if I train myself, I could. But it just... 
doesn't seem like something I want to do. It really doesn't. It like I'm st I I'm trying to imagine life right now. Yeah, if drawing stuff was a hobby. Like it, it's no, it's it. I it's not my interest, and I'm not really that good at it too. I mean, there are some stuff that I'd like to draw. Hold on. Like if I ever made an F and F mod, I I wish I could like draw the characters because I want to make an F and F mod, but drawing's not my hobby. But I I really don't care. I can't draw. I can't. Doesn't work out for me. Like, imagine if I just, like, went around just, like, drawing stuff. Or, like, making sketches and stuff. I wonder. But no, that's not me. Not me. Not my hobby. My hobby is gaming, commentary, you know, everything I do on this YouTube channel. Reaction videos, I guess, too. People are impressed by his work, and embracing his disability makes his art unique and stand out more. To help Donnie get more exposure, Freedom makes videos of him, letting the world know about his life. He inspires people all around the world and quickly develops a following. Before oh, long, good. Donnie starts selling lots of paintings. Some because people are so touched by his story. <laughs> He's just, he's just waving the money like he's fanning it. Look at that. <laughs> Touched by his story? He's just like, whoa, I got money. He's just waving it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but the most common reason? But the most common. Look at that. He's story? Waving money. By the way, not trying to make fun of it. I think it's cool. That looks cool. Like him, like waving the money. That looks really cool. I'm not, by the way, I'm not trying to make fun of him at all. All right. Just for you guys to know. Look at that. He's waving it. That looks sick. He's like, woo, I got money. But the most common reason is people just love his art so waving much. Waving his money again. Yeah. A lot of time passes, and then one day, Miss Renee is about to get a big surprise. <clears throat> Lovely to see you again, darling. <laughs> oh my gosh, not this again, not this this behavior. <laughs> Can I steal you? He, he is probably like, what on earth is this person doing? Oh my gosh. Are you for a moment? Sure. <laughs> That's what he looks like. I could tell in his face, like, what on earth are you doing? Well, I just wanted to see what the highest bid was so far. On my piece. There have been a couple of people who have taken a look at it, but no real offers yet. Actually, I take that back. Someone offered $200. $200? Well, a frame is worth more than that. Ugh. Must be amateur night. Who are the art connoisseurs with real money? You're not going to believe this. Someone just offered $15,000. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them I accept the offer. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for your piece. I meant for his. Him? Wow. Isn't that a record for first timers at this gallery? Yes, it is. By quite a lot, actually. How is that possible? Who even allowed him to display his art here? What on earth are you talking about? You don't own the place. So then why couldn't he come here? What are you even thinking? What are you thinking? Actually, I did. But Donnie's been all the buzz lately. His story went viral on the internet. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. I'm oh, sorry. Give us a moment. Donnie, I've got great news. Oh, that's like really? the fourth ad this video. Oh my god, that's incredible! Oh, thank you so much. What could you have possibly made that someone would spend so much money on? Unless you had somebody else draw it for you. Gertrude, what a pleasure. 
Actually, it's this piece here. I call it Frida. Yeah, I named it after a person that uh, has really inspired me. This? But why would anybody pay so much money for this? I mean, look at all the wobbly lines. Actually, that's the real reason I bought it. It really makes it stand out. Absolutely. I agree. And that's what makes the art so unique, like all other Donny paintings. It's so interpretive. Well, you know, it doesn't hurt that the girl is so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Donny. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Excuse me. That lady has a problem. Oh, hold on a sec. A word of advice. Maybe if you started being nicer to people, then you could sell a painting. Oh, be quiet. I don't need to take any advice from you. Oh, well, an ex-student of yours with a disability just sold a piece of art for more than you ever will. Isn't life ironic, Gertrude? You don't have to be so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't like things sugar-coated. Have a nice day. Wow, that is revenge. Right there. Honestly, I am... Revenge is like talking smack back to her after she talks smack to you. Very flattered. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, Donnie. Uh, my son here has cerebral palsy, and I try to tell him all the time that that shouldn't stop him from going after his dreams of becoming an artist. Do you have any advice for him? Well, as a wise person once told me, don't think of it as a disability. Think of it as a different ability. See? I told you. Thank you so much. Ryan. It's really amazing how far happy. you've come, Donnie. Congrats on everything. Thank you, Frida. But you know, I could never have done this without you. That's why I want you to have this. What's this? It's a blank check. So now you can finally go to that art school you always dreamt of. Wait, what? Is he giving the $15,000 to her for the art school? If so, that is dang generous of him. Wow. Wow. That is generous. Donnie, I can't take this. Of course you can take it. You helped me when I first started out. I just consider it an investment in your future. Hmm? Thank you. You're amazing. Honey, so, did you sell it? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mom, you won't believe this. What is it, Ronnie? I won that three-on-three -three basketball tournament. I even got MVP. You did? Yup, I told you I could ball. Oh, a letter came for you. It's from the school. I hope it's that raise that we desperately need. Dear Miss Renee, um, Renee, please be advised that due to your poor online reviews and low student ratings, we have decide ratings, we have decided to terminate your position with our school. This termination is effective immediately. Please relinquish all school property to your supervisor at once. If you dispute these findings, please follow the pr proper procedures for contesting this termination. Sincerely, Art, de Art Department. <coughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Crazy. Screaming. Okay, I think the video ended there. That was, that was a great video. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is I, don't, I really don't. I'm sorry. Is a Polish artist born without arms. He's been drawing since the age of three. That is very great. Wow. JC. I don't know how to pronounce that either. 
Tenen, Tenet, Tenet is a French tattoo artist who lost his right arm when he was a, a child. He used a prosthetic tattoo machine arm. Wow. Victorian Floyd Flood became blind at the age of 26. She creates pictures using a technique called light painting. Oh. I think my son. All right, that's it. That the video is over. That was very, that was a very good video. You know, it shows like if you have a, a, a disability that doesn't stop you from doing stuff, right? You know, um, yeah, don't let others like tell you that your disability will get in the way of you doing stuff that you want to achieve, right? Very good lesson that I got out of this video, right? Well, I already knew the lesson, but very good lesson to relearn, I guess. Um, not relearn, but like just here again. And um, yeah, great video, Darman. Really appreciate the message that you gave to all of us here. All right. Very, very great video. I and I do have to say your videos have gotten a lot better. So yeah. Alright, that's it for this video. That's it for me. Goodbye.